guys, it is Monday and it's May Day. Is that what they call today, May Day? Monday, May 1st, so super excited. So many fun things happening this month. My son and daughter-in-law that live in Edmonton who are actually moving home in the summer are coming to, on their house hunting trip. They're coming to find a house to buy and I'm so excited. So we'll get to see our grandbabies and yeah, so much fun, exciting stuff happening for us this this month. And plus it's the beginning of the real warm weather. So that's exciting. So uh, we are getting back to school and I'm super excited because since I moved the dining room table for the first communion party, I decided I'm just gonna keep it like this. And I really like it. I like way better. So that means that we can have way more space. Yeah, so uh, we have all that space now. And I changed the dogs into a different crate. So now they're sleeping in the one above Abby. And that gives us more room. I know. And it's better because we don't have to bend down. Yeah, to let them out. Toby always growls whenever anybody comes by. He thinks he's protecting his women. So much better. Plus, I've decided that we can keep a lot of our essential stuff all on this shelf back here the thing the piece of wood that sits on top of the radiator so that's cool so our table is not all wait, a huge mess wait. so we are getting back to it i still have to go and get all of my stuff all my worksheets and all the things that we are doing and bring them out mm -hmm. i also like it because of where we're sitting so now this is like before we were just so squished in now i have this whole area for me to sit and then the girl Sophia can sit closest to me because she needs the most help and then it just seems better. It just seems like a better setup. Yeah, so that's what's going on and today we are gonna get to see our goat. I'm so excited about that. So we are going Yay! to the horse barn today. We can do it once we're all done. Because it's run. I have to tack up and it takes me a long time to tack yeah, up. Yeah, so. it takes her forever to tack up. But she's just learning because she hasn't been tacking up at the old barn. I've and never tacked up She did tack up. a little bit. Yeah, she did it in all of her pre-riding years. She tacked up but she was really little like and it just was, I mean, yeah. So she's just learning really to tack up. So it takes her forever. And Sophie untacks. And her horse is already tacked when we get there. But anyway, I need to know. What do you guys want to us to make a video about at the barn? Because we're going to be at the barn all the time. And especially as the summer goes on. What do you guys want to see? What kind of videos? So, like, we could do a video of her tacking up which we kind of already did last week. Um, or we could do a video of like, what do you, I know you guys want to see like a real barn tour, but um, yeah, we are going to do that eventually. I just don't know when, but what other, what other things do you guys want to see at the barn? Tell us, leave it, leave it. We want to see a barn tour. Leave it in the comments below. So we know where to, what way to gear our horse barn videos. But yeah, we're going riding today. Are you excited to go riding? Yeah. And guys, my mom has a pencil. No, it's a heel, but they don't want to etch it with your thing, your nail because it's way too short and just go like this. Yeah, that's such a good idea. If you're holding a pencil and your nose is itchy, just use the pencil. <laughs> or don't use the eraser. Or use the eraser. <laughs> yeah. So these are the kind of things that the girls are learning at homeschool. <laughs> well, they're supposed to be doing their grammar and their math. Well, guess what I'm doing right now? Yeah, Gabby's got a hard sheet of math over no, there. I got a hard sheet. And Sylvie's got an easy sheet of grammar. Yeah. I just had the best conversation with Gabby. She told me that when she does experiments at the table, like she's, oops, like she's doing right now. I don't know if it will turn out because I don't know. I need more water. That I'm the best parent because I say, you know yeah. What? Experiment. Yeah, I'm the best parent when it comes to experiments because I say, hey, yep, go ahead, go ahead, make an experiment and take care of it and have fun and just do it and enjoy yourself. And what happens when a dad does experiments with you? He takes over. What? He takes over. He takes over. I'm kind of a taking over kind of parent, so I'm glad that she said that I don't take over when she does experiments. But then she said this. When it comes to cleaning up part, dad cleans up, so that's the best. Yeah, so dad's the best when it comes to cleaning up, because what does mom say when it comes to cleaning up? Do it yourself. Do it yourself. Anyway, it's something simple, but I love being called the better parent at some times, because honestly, Gabby's so close with Sam, because she's so much like him, so I'm, I'm, I'm glad to take first place. 
when it comes. No, it's a tie. It's a tie because he's gonna because he cleans up after you. Here's the thing about him cleaning up after him after them. When he cleans up after them, he puts all of the stuff in the sink and then washes off the counter and then leaves it there. And then I come up the next morning and then I end up doing all the cleaning up. So ha! I decided it's super rainy and dreary outside today and terrible and I'm not gonna go to the barn tonight. I'm excited to have some time to myself. So Sam will take the girls and he'll vlog and I'm sad I'm not gonna see the goat and he's gonna have like a whole week to forget about me and that will break my heart but I just don't wanna go out there in the freezing cold and get wet. But look at this! The girls have totally set up shop again with all their barn stuff. All their horses. Just like I didn't clean up for a whole entire week. It's just exactly the same as it was before. Back to normal, big mess, but I'm okay. I'm happy with them playing. I, I, messes are good as long as your kids are making memories, right? I love a massive, huge thunderstorm. It's my favorite. I love being inside. I love hearing the thunder. And yeah, so this is what's going on right now. Huge rainstorm. So what happened? Our riding day is canceled. Riding lesson canceled. I better bring this in. Here, hold this. Anyway, it's true. The girls riding instructor just contacted me and asked if they could switch it to a little bit later in the week. So basically they're not gonna go riding and I didn't even vlog very much today because literally uh, they were gonna be riding and I wanted to save room in our vlog for holy cow for their lesson. Can I put uh, my shoes on and run out? No, it's cold. It's too cold. Look at all that water. Flood zone. It's been raining this whole entire day. The sails come out. The sails come out. Yeah, it's been raining this whole entire day. Daddy. Darn. There's one. The big one and the small one are gone. Look at Sophie's hair. I just she just had it in a braid, but turn around. But then I took it. But after she slept and had it brushed. Uh oh, wait a minute. It still had, well, until I brushed it just now, it had a really nice little curl to it still. Oh my and then Gabby's just poker bike. straight. Yeah, you left your bike out. Let's get it. I don't want to get wet. What are you getting? What is it? Bike. Your what? Sophia's bike. Alright, go get it. Where are you going to put it? Um, Back in the, in the rain somewhere else? Over here. No, Gabby, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm we'll going to both do it. it. Alright, you're crazy. Literally, you're both crazy. Okay, go on my socks. Let's go. I have no idea where she's going to put it. In a better spot? So no horseback riding today and the cat is right by the door. What are you doing? You trying to sneak out? You trying to sneak out? Anyways, it is pouring out. We got a flood. We got a flood situation going on here. Everywhere. These trough is not keeping up with anything. Look at the driveway. Look over there, it's a flood. Good thing about this property is we don't have a wet basement. But when we were at our old house, just down the road, we our our basement flooded every time it rained like this. Our driveway would be covered with water. And one time, just before our open house, the basement flooded and I was like, oh no, what are we gonna do? I have to, we have an open house. We went and bought, had to buy a shop bag that sucks up water and I bought an actual water pump, a big industrial water pump because none of the rental places were open and I had to have it all emptied out Saturday night before the open house on Sunday morning. 
or Sunday in the afternoon. I mean, we had the open house. We had the open house anyway, and we had to tell them like we had the flood in the basement. It didn't help us out at all. And, uh, because we had all the fans going and stuff, and we had a restoration place come, and because the insurance company had to come and do all that stuff. But yeah, but this house, no floods in the basement. Because we were on high ground. Guess uh, we gotta go up and clean the eaves trap, but I, I don't know if I told you, I'm afraid of heights. I have uh, one of those big extendable ladders and they're like 35 feet. And at our old house, I had to always go up and clean the eaves trap. And um, if you ever read the label on those ladders, it says uh, not to exceed 295 pounds. Well, I'm 298 pounds. <laughs> so I'm afraid going up those things because, because I feel like it's gonna break. Anyways, still pouring out. Oh, another thing about that ladder. I let Laura hold it once. And um, she let it slide off the side of the building. So not only was it straight, but it was curved. It was a curved ladder. See, when you put it up, it was like this. <laughs> so it was even more terrifying going up. I was never afraid of heights when I was a kid. I used to always jump off the, the house roof all the time. And the garage roofs. I used to play hide and go seek. I would climb up, the, <laughs> climb up on top of the roof. That's where I would hide, and now I'm terrified of heights. I don't know why, but that's terrifying heights. Anyways, that's it for today. I'm gonna end tonight's vlog, and we'll see you tomorrow.